The main event of Noche UFC between Alexa Grasso and Valentina Shevchenko was an awesome fight. We saw both women do great work on the feet, and both women saw success in the grappling department. This was really a back and forth fight where we got to see mixed martial arts displayed at the highest level. But when it was all said and done, the first thing we were talking about was the decision. A draw? Are you kidding me? 10-8 in the fifth round? I don't know what Mike Bell watched, but it wasn't the same fifth round that I watched. I've seen a lot of MMA in my life, and I don't know how you scored that round that way. You know, I can understand giving the Grasso, Grasso the round, no problem there, but 10-9 is the only score that seems justified. Now, in the build-up to this one, Valentino repeatedly said, no mercy. Repeatedly said that she's got to go out there and get after it, and it looked like that from the opening bell. She came out more aggressive than normal, landed a hard body kick, threw some hard left hands out there with authority, even caught Grasso with a good counter left hand. And even though Grasso was able to defend this takedown early, it was Shevchenko's round. You know, she said it was going to be important to show that she was still the boss. She said it was going to be important to come out there, and she did. She came out there like she had something to prove. She took that first round. But the second, man, that was a completely different story. Grasso comes out, she starts landing some shots early, but it was this big right hand that punctuated the round, man. It dropped Valentina, made her roll over backwards on the canvas. It is not often you see her get caught like that, man. From there, Grasso was able to do, she was able to land some heavy shots up, to, up along the cage with, with some grappling exchanges, man. That was some good work from the champ. That was really a definitive round. There were some, there were some moments there. Shevchenko looked hurt. Third round I gave to Valentina. That one was pretty clear cut. But when I went back and watched this, I think it all comes down to this fourth round, man. I'll be honest with you. When I watched it live, I gave it to Grasso. And it, was, and it was really about the grappling exchange. But when I went back and I watched it again before I made this video, that was a Valentina Shevchenko round in my opinion. You know, it opens up. Grasso looks a little slower, man. Looks like her feet are a little bit heavier. She's just not able to close the distance and land anything early. And Shevchenko was scoring from the outside, particularly with that jab. She's landing her shots. She's even leading and countering at times. She's using good movement from the outside, and she's just peppering Grasso. Now, look, at one point, Valentino goes for the tank down around the three-minute mark. Grasso stuffs it, lands some nice knees to the head, turns it into a takedown of her own. But she can't hold her there. Valentino pops right back to her feet. She gets some separation, and she picks up where she left off with the jab. She even scored her own takedown late in the round. I mean, the work that Grasso did was good, but I find it hard to believe that when you go back and look at this round, that you can justify giving this one for Grasso. And when you look at these judges' scorecards, when you look here, two of them gave it to Shevchenko, but this last one, it was that fourth round that made the difference. If he would have given that round to Shevchenko, that would have made the difference on the scorecard. Fifth round went to Grasso. We talked about this one already. I had her losing the striking in the first half of the round, but she came through strong in the end, man. She was able to look at this grappling exchange. Valentino goes in for it here, and Grasso is able to get her head out in this grappling exchange at the last minute. She's able to get Grasso, uh, Valentina's back, and she threatened with a submission. She landed some good ground and pound. I mean, there was some real damage being done there, but ultimately, when we look at it, it was only a minute and a half of the round. There was only one minute and 36, 30 seconds left when this grappling exchange took place. Gross was able to pop her head out. Explain to me how dominating for 90 seconds justifies a 10-8 round. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible. You can dominate for 90 seconds and you can do such vicious damage. You can threaten with a submission that's so crazy tight that, that maybe you can justify it at that point, particularly if going into that point of the round, it was really a toss-up. But I thought that we were clearly looking at a Valentina round up until that point, and I don't think that the work that Grasso did justifies that going 10-8. And if you don't go that round 10-8, if you're not going the fourth round, Grasso, there's no way that she ends up coming out with this fight. There's no way that she ends up getting a draw in this fight and hanging on to her belt. You know, look, but at the end of the day, this isn't the first time that we've been talking about bad decisions. Not in MMA, not in boxing. It's not the last time that we're going to be talking about it. We've particularly been talking about it recently. I don't know, it seems like we go through these periods where we'll just get a whole rash of decisions that are controversial, or a whole rash of decisions that are just particularly bad. And, you know, this one we're just racking up there. I'm not saying it's particularly bad. I am saying it's controversial. I am saying I disagree with it. 10-8 seems horrible, though, right? I mean, 
10 8 seems horrible, man. It's just, it is hard to justify that. When at the end of the day, if you wanted to go this this for Grasso, let's say you gave her rounds one, f- four, and five. I'm going to disagree with you, but at least I can understand it. But when you go 10 8 round in the fifth, that's where you lose me. So, you know, let me know what you guys think about this one. Either way, at the end of the day, it is what it is. We're left with a bad taste in our mouth with the draw, and Grasso goes home with the belt. You know, how do you guys feel about this one? Let me know what you guys think.